So we've got another example of uh, the increment pattern at work here that creates a spiral. Here it's a, it's a highly reconfigurable spiral that you can define what the bottom radius and what the top radius is. It makes a conical helix, but you can also make it into a cylindrical helix just by changing some parameters on each one of these guys. So you can see if you select the spiral itself, you've got height, radius, start, radius, end, uh, degree of rotation, and all these allow you to just sort of mess with the spiral as you like. So it's a loadable family, it's a mass, you can just place it on a face, and this is its default placement is uh, what, 720 degree rotation, 40 foot base radius, and the radius end is 2 feet, with a height of 100, 100 feet. So you can reconfigure that if you want to make it uh, cylindrical, you can just reconfigure that bit and it'll percolate through and then you can see if you go and look at it above it makes a circular plan view um, you can make it go in a counterclockwise rotation by doing negative and then it percolates through and it changes its direction so all of that stuff can be changed and so here just placing it on a vertical work plane uh, placing them end to end so if I open this guy up for edit we can see that it is actually made up of a series of incremented lines. So this is a family, and this is a family, and this is a family. It's all the same family, and they've just been placed uh, however many of these guys I have. Let's see. Let's select all instances in the entire project. I've got 17 instances of this family. And if I open that up for edit in turn, we'll see that it is really quite humble looking. It's just a line uh, that is on a point, and I can increment through this point's placement so that if I go to level, that basically says what level or what vertical offset I want to have this thing set to. It's also just sort of what increment it is. This is increment zero, so if I change it to one, it, that increment is going to percolate through all of these other formulas here which feed off of it you have um, the height of this increment is going to be the number of the level uh, times uh, another equation which is going to be plugged into the host family but if you just take a look at what happens when you start incrementing it and apply that you see it goes up and rotates over and again up and over and up and over and this line length can also be hooked up to that increment so that if I want to just have a cylindrical spiral uh, or cylindrical helix, this line length will stay the same length. And if I want it to diminish, this line length will diminish or become shorter every time I increment it up. So I can just you know, go way up and see what happens to this guy. You can see that it's just rotated all the way over. So then in turn, that family is loaded into this host, and I define a set of these lines, 17 of them, and each one, see if I select this one here, you'll see that it, it has had a, a level increment applied to it. If I change this to 10, it would sort of sully this whole thing by making this guy overlap with this guy. But we can see what happens up here if I take the last one, and I'll just look at that one family. And so that's level 16. If I change that to 17, yeah, it'll bust the whole thing. But it's trying to move up and over again. And then this line that threads them all together is simply a spline by points that has been used to thread them like so. all the way up through increment 16. And when you get this back into the, you, you can also thread these together different ways. You can, you know, get this guy and if I just tab into the line and I tab into the line, uh, did I get that? No, nope, I didn't. I create form. So I can just thread these guys together in a number of different ways, but I've chosen to thread them together with a, a spline by points. 
And so when, when you load it into a project, then you can then use it to build whatever geometry you want on top of it. If I took that point and I could draw um, a circle on it. And I could draw two circles on it, for instance, and pull it all the way up. Change the diameter of that. Then I can select that line. I can select this profile, select that profile, start creating elements out of it, and use it for whatever you want to do, whether it's a ramp for a parking garage or decorative elements or anything else.